you know, Nick got to show that, hey, man, this is a big, tough guy, but also he can work and he can wrestle. So it it, uh, it actually helped us to, to show that, you know, because it wasn't a hardcore match. I mean, there was some stuff in there, but we actually incorporated some pretty good wrestling that night. So it actually showed that, hey, maybe the CZW stuff has some wrestling, too. It's just not garbage. I and mean, we never planned on it getting to where it got. It just was like, fuck it, let's go with it. And the fans were just eating it up. And um, the stuff that happened in that match, just, it, I mean, a lot of it wasn't planned. We just went with it, and we were just calling it on the fly. And uh, it was just, it was just, everybody felt a vibe. It was all four of us just felt a vibe, what we had to do, and, and we just kept taking it further and further and further. Like I said, everybody was, everybody mentally was just like, fuck it, let's do it. Let's, let's tear the house down. I can't go out there and be a face, especially, you know, the, the hardcore indie fans knew CM Punk. I knew that we were going to react. They reacted exactly the way I thought they would. So I said, no, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll play the heel. So he was a little ticked about that. I said, I'm going to try it again. He didn't lift up. I took all my might to lift him up or whatever. And um, I basically said, I said, <laughs> I said, lariat. So well, I was going to put him down on the apron and go and hit the, hit the rope and clothesline him down and off. But um, I just, he completely went. And I guess he thought I was just trying to throw him and kill him or whatever. And um, basically, I mean, not saying it was the safest thing to do, but uh, whatever. He turned around, he was in my face. And I just kept, I was selling it because I really didn't think that it was like real until I was down the corner. And I was like, man, this motherfucker's kicking me.